Sooner Scoop HD. It was great. There's a lot of guys out here competing, having fun, um, enjoying the physicality. You know, in the spring, it's a lot of good on good. Um, so, you know, it's really good. How much progress do you feel that you made just in the weight room day after day working with Schmitty leading up to spring? Right, I've made uh, major jumps. Um, just leaning my body up a lot, um, getting a little little stronger in, in certain aspects and um, just developing all the way around. How are you feeling maybe kind of at this point right now compared to at this point last year mentally, physically? Do you feel like you're in a different place? Yeah, entirely. Um, you know, when I when I came in last year, everybody was new. Um, things were faster um, for, for an income guy. Um, and I think this year it's slowing down just because, you know, I'm kind of in that older position and, and I, I, I've been through the season and know how that thing is run. How so. crazy was that last year as fast with the new defense and the way Brent coaches it and everything? Um, it was fast, uh, no doubt. Um, but you know, it, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't something just crazy. He said. Um, he said a joke the other day after practice. He said I, he had me doing dividends instead of addition and subtraction. Um, I just thought that was kind of funny, you know, because it's not. When you look into it, it's not that difficult. You just have to slow it down in your mind. With uh, David and Deshaun, obviously no longer here. How have you seen Danny kind of step up even more so as that that leader guy? Of, right. Of the uh, majorly, you know, Danny. Danny is a, a alpha guy. Um, he's an amazing leader, um, and he leads by an example. Um, he isn't the guy who's just hooping and hollering. He he, he's gonna back up whatever he's preaching and whatever he's doing. So um, he's a great leader. How much do you think it's helped just having a bunch of guys in that linebacker room? who have been through the fire with each other. Because you mentioned last year with everybody new, everybody was kind of learning on the fly, but with so many guys coming back and working in the same group, how do you feel like that helps you all get back up to speed and learn everything on an accelerated team? Um, it helps a lot. You know, there, like, like you just said, um, there's a lot of returning guys, and that was a thing that, was, that wasn't that was available last last spring. You know, nobody knew this defense. And so when you're returning, you can kind of pinpoint it and add certain things and, and certain other aspects and, and you can help each other out a lot so that helps you know with younger guys like Bill you know when I when I was coming in I didn't have a guy like me or Jaron to help him out learning the system so it, it's been good. With the condition you've gone through where have you noticed that in terms of your game? I'm all over you know you just when, when you lean your body up you, you you're more fluent you can move better um, all of that definitely all aspects of my game for sure. What did you take away, maybe just from last year? You know, getting you know getting adjusted, just getting into the defense. Maybe what what would what you take away from last year? Um, the the learning part, all of it, every single part of it. Um, you know, I had a great leader in David Uguebu. Um, you know, he. Although I didn't get as many snaps, he, he taught me a lot of things and I paid attention and I, you know, got that mental rep, as they say. Um, and so it, it was last year, it helped me a lot going into this year for sure. You know, obviously this is a, a, a much deeper room than it was last year. So talk about the competition factor and, and every day you guys are going to get after it for playing time. Right, we're going to compete no matter what. Um, this year, you know, some guys are competing for jobs, you know, but we, we love each other and we're going to compete. You know, that's just it. And um, you have to have that competitive instinct in you. No matter what, if you compete for a job or you're just out here practicing, everybody has to compete and you have to love it. Bringing Desan into this room and just, you know, what he did last year at Indiana and just how physically impressive he is. What what has stood out about the way that he's kind of meshed with the Oklahoma way of doing things so far and what's it like just working on side? Right, Desan is an amazing athlete. He is one of that that one percent in the athletes for sure. Um, and, and you see it. And there's flashes of it here and there and he's a really good player. And um, you know the the world's already seen that but there is gonna be a display here with us. So it's gonna be really good. He hasn't been here that long, but what has James Skalski meant to the room? A lot. Um, that guy played a lot of college ball. A lot. I'm pretty sure he played in like four national championships, give or take. Um, so he knows what he's talking about. And um, that's just another seed. You have to take that seed and understand who that is and what that is. He's played in this system for a long time. He understands where everyone is supposed to be. So he can help you out a lot. Kind of along those lines, it seems like he's he's really passionate, full energy, even out here on the practice field. How much does that maybe push? How much does that push you guys? You know, what is that like? Right, it, it's an energy booster for sure. You know, you feed off of that, um, and he's literally a younger Brent Venables. It's, it's crazy, you know. And um, but he gives this this group a lot of drill, a lot of energy all the time. 
Um, Jaron, he's he's really explosive. Everybody knows that he's another one percent athlete type of guy. Um, he's also a young great alpha. Um, he, he leads our group well, just just like everybody else. Um, he's a competitor, loves to compete, loves that to death. Um, and he's a good ball player for sure. I'm sure, team success is probably the most important to you. But just in terms of personal goals, after soaking up as much as you could last season, what are you hoping to get out of this year for yourself? Man, I just want to enjoy every moment. I don't, I don't have any personal goals. I just literally want to enjoy the moment and um, take every opportunity. And that's, that's it. Enjoy the moment and take every opportunity. Sooner Scoop HD.